Hey guys, Nathan here. Welcome back to another video. Today you see my back shop's a little bit different. I shifted my camera over. I have my camera up on like a different made stand I did again. Not made out of Lego, but just like a bunch of Lego bins and stuff. And I shifted this over because the shelves are kind of bare. And maybe I'll shift my table over eventually. I did um, add a new shelf here. I just recorded this video and I realized like it was like making this shaking tapping noise. But this is where a freezer used to be. And due to everything that's been going on in life with just me living here now, we realized we didn't need a freezer here. So we took that freezer down and we added the shelf that used to be that used to be over here where now that shelf is. So I have and I got to use this shelf again. So right now I just put a couple sets there and on top. And then I did finish building the uh, tumbler, so that is there. And I have my computer set up right here. And today's video is kind of going through themes that I have. It's kind of three points. It's themes I collected at one point, themes I want to collect, and then themes that I already do currently collect. So stuff I collect, stuff I used to collect, and maybe I want to restart collecting. And then obviously sets themes that I've never owned before that I wanted to collect. This was like making like a tapping noise, which I added some weight to the stand. So hopefully it doesn't make that... It doesn't make that noise anymore and the tapping stops. I think we're good now. I'm just adding weight all over this thing so it doesn't make any more tapping noises. So hopefully the tapping stops. It was like very subtle and since the stand is connected to the phone, you could hear it very easily. But um, starting off, which this is kind of nice that the video I did before kind of failed with the sound because I can go, I collected my thoughts a little bit and some notes on my computer. And I have a uh, brick set pulled up so I can go through the themes. I kind of went alphabetical just because that's how they have it set up. And this is a theme that I owned one set of as a child. And it was maybe two. Um, Aquarators. Now this is a theme that was right before Atlantis. I don't know when. When did, let me see when Aquar. I, I want to say like 2007 or something. Wow. I'm a loser for knowing that. 2007, which is correct. So I was seven at the time. And this was like literally two years before I started collecting Legos. And I had no idea what I was doing. Let me see if I can find the set. Here it is. 7773. The Tiger Shark Attack. That was the first, um, first theme I ever owned. So, yeah. It's weird. I remember I literally tore um the box apart because i didn't know how legos work i don't know what i was doing i was dumb for like knowing in two years i'd be building like huge lego models and being super complex about it but two years prior i like dug my hands into the middle of the box i tore the whole box apart through the i literally tore the instructions up i was throwing pieces all over the place and being like a total idiot i was like throwing the pieces in the air like they were confetti i don't know what i was doing but yeah, I was really dumb and weird as a kid, which I'm probably still weird and dumb now, but this is a theme that only made seven sets, so it wasn't a very long lasting theme. These sets all came out in October of 2007, and they all had a shelf life of about 10 months. Um, they only sold on lego.com for a month. Oh, in the UK, sorry. In the UK, they only sold for a month. In the US, they sold for 10 months. There's only seven sets here, and none of them are super expensive, even if I bought them new. So Aqua Themes is probably at the top of, like, the least pricey of the themes. Um, next up, I'm, maybe I should go out of order, but this is all alphabetical. Uh, collectible minifigures, which this is the theme I already collect. I don't own all of them, but I have... I probably never showed these off in a video... But Lego used to make, I don't think they make these anymore. They might. They do them differently, but I don't know if they do like this sliding and pop off case. But this is really dusty on top. I have to clean these off. I don't know what series this is, but um, Medusa doesn't even fit in there. I don't know what series this is, but I did this with a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 of these stacked in here, and I know these are like Simpsons series one and two. I don't know the earliest. This might be one of the earliest. Um, I don't know what series this is. I don't know. I don't know my series, but this is one of the series collectible minifigures. 
this is how I collected them and now I just put them in like little baggies and then I put each minifigure in a miniature baggie and then I put all the the whole series in one. So I use actually these right here. I bought a whole bunch of these at Hobby Lobby. You get like a thousand of them for like five bucks or something. So it's really nice to get these. They're very useful. You just pop these open. I keep the minifigures intact usually I think or maybe I take them apart. I don't remember. And then I put all these baggies in like a Ziploc bag or something and then I mark on the outside of the series. So collectible minifigures I owned. I don't know if it will let me... I don't know if it'll let me break it down by... Okay, so I started series... Okay, so I do own all of... Is this saying what I own? No, this can't be what I own. No. It doesn't show what I own in here, but... Series 1. I gotta see mine. I'm just curious to know how many of these I own. I know last video I was trying to guess and I couldn't come up with an idea. It says I own 549 and there was like 700 made. So, um, series one, I owe, I own 18 out of the 19. Series two, I own one. Um, and then I don't own, what? I, I still don't know what this list is. Is this the list I own? Do I really own these? I don't, this might be another case of me like just selecting themes and saying that I own them when I really don't. Because some of these don't sound familiar at all. And I have them marked that I own them. And it does not look right. So this is probably another case of me marking things when I first got brick set like five years ago and marking all this stuff and not realizing I don't actually own it. Because right now it's saying I own like Series 7, Series 9, Series 10, Series 6, 5, 4. It basically almost says I own all of them, which I don't. So this is not accurate at all. I know I own... Maybe I do own all of Series 1. I don't know. I have to look back and see how many series I own. I don't own all of them, but I hope to own all of them at one point. Because I'm under... I can't tell if I'm under my sets owned. This doesn't seem right. I definitely don't own this many this many series. Um, I own all the monsters. I know up to 10. So I own all of 10, 11, 12, 13, series 14, which is monsters, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It says I only own four. I think I own all of 22 now, so I have to update that. Um, I don't think the Muppets are in here yet. They haven't been released. I'm going to own all those at one point. I'm curious as to why series 20, it says I only own three. I own all of series 20. Huh. I need to update my collectible minifigures because I don't have this accurate. There's some I don't own and there's some I own all of them. Like series 20, I have all of them. I just bagged them up not that while ago, not that long ago. But let's not dwell on collectible minifigures. It's just a theme I want to own at one point. Hopefully all of them. I don't want to own Harry Potter because I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. Unfortunately, I watched a couple movies and I just <clears throat> wasn't a fan. And then I know they made like a soccer series or something, which I don't want to own because I'm not a huge soccer or should I say football or football or whatever. I don't own any of the sports ones. I don't even see them on here. Marvel, Looney Tunes, Disney combo i don't even see them under collectible minifigures so i don't know <clears throat> but i need to go back and make sure i don't have every series marked that i own because i know for a fact i don't own all series 1 through 22 series i can tell series 20 21 and 22 i've not come up to date on because i have series 20 i own three series 21 14 and series 22 4 so that's not right at all and all the other ones like four five six seven eight nine I have I own all of them, and that's not true because I know for a fact I own all of them. But anyway, enough with collectible minifigures. On to the next theme, which I'm confused about with how Brick's set working, which is Cars. So for the movies Cars 1 and 2, I do believe I own all the sets, but I'm not exactly positive. Because once again, I screwed this up so badly when I first made it, and I marked all of these sets that I own. I need to turn one of these lights off. It's like almost too bright, and my face is like glowing more than it should that's a little bit better but series um maybe still not whatever um series goodness gracious cars 
So it says I own all of them. I'm not positive. Again, like I said, I set this up when I was like 15 and I like marked all this stuff that I had. Then I sold it or I got rid of it or I kept some of it and I kept it marked that I owned all of it. Didn't really have a good concept of how bricks that worked. So cars is another theme that I want to go and try to collect all the ones that go double check and check off all the sets I don't actually have and then try to collect those. <clears throat> a lot of them are like just the little singular cars like Lightning Mater, some of the cars that win each race is they're only like 65 pieces each. You just build a little, you want to say like a, like the brick built heads or the brick built brick heads. Now these are like brick built cars, like the characters. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, next up, Indiana Jones, which is a theme I own. Let me see how many Indiana Jones sets I own. Or actually, let me go to my sets. <clears throat> and then there's like a graph I can look at to specifically tell me the percentages um number there we go so indiana jones it says i own 52 percent. i don't know how many sets that is specifically i know there's like the big temple of doom one of the big planes or the green plane which is funny because at brick world someone had um an indiana jones whole theme set up on a table that they had built and it was kind of like almost like a panorama of all the movies and the part where the guys, they were like fighting, like it's a specific Indiana Jones set. They're fighting outside of the plane. Indiana Jones is fighting the guy <clears throat> who gets shredded by the propeller blades. That scene was actually playing as we were walking by that specific part. So I think the movie was, they had the movie set up on like some type of a tablet. I don't know if they just had that scene playing over and over again because that's where it was in the diorama or if the whole movie was playing, but as we walked by, that was happening. And that's one of the sets that I want to own. They have the set displayed, but it's very expensive. Uh, next up, which I have a bunch of question marks next to, is Legends of Chima. As I was recording this last time, I did not realize how many Legends of Chima sets were made. So if I go to themes and find Legends of... Gosh, they have this set up so weird. Um, where Legends of Chima, one... 142 Legends of Chima sets. And I know for a fact at one point, I literally had every set marked that I owned it, which already off the bat was not accurate. I owned a lot of Legends of Chima. I probably owned 60 or 70 sets, but I did not own 142 of them, all 142. That is one that I've said so much that I want to own all of them. And Legends of Chima, Star Wars is my main goal, like own all of Star Wars. I can't believe I didn't even start out with that. Like Star Wars is obviously my goal to own every Star Wars set. But with Star Wars and Chima, it's going to have to be a slow process because, um, you know, you want to enjoy the journey of collecting these sets. And yes, I could go online and just buy all of them, which I did like a rough estimate. If I want to buy every um, Star Wars set that I'm missing, it costs about 15 grand. Yes, I could go work my butt off at a job and collect 15 grand in the bank and have enough money sitting on that to just go out and buy every set, but that would be stupid, one. It'd be stupid, because I'd just be blowing all my money on one thing. And then I'd just own all the sets. And if that's at one point after I move out of this house into a different one, there's no fun in just buying all 400 sets at once and setting them up in boxes under your shelf and be like, okay, now what? Same thing with Legends of Chima. I want to own all of them, but if I buy all 400 Star Wars and all 140 Chima and I have you know, 600 sets I just bought, boom. Now I just bought like all that I wanted in one sitting. You wanna kinda have fun with the journey and collect them over the years. And there's some sets that I will have to convince myself to buy at the price that they are online because some of the prices are just absolutely insane and I don't wanna pay them. Last time I checked the Imperial Shuttle, which I say all the time, probably too much, it was like two grand and I don't wanna pay two grand. I'm obviously sitting comfortably enough with money that I don't, it's not a worry. Like I'm not in the millions of dollars. Like I could have the amount of money Elon Musk would have. And I still would not be willing to pay two grand for an Imperial shuttle because I think it's ridiculous that that's the price, but I don't want to rant into that anymore. But Star Wars and Legends of Chima, I want to collect like gradually over time. I don't want to just collect them all at once because I could, but then there's no fun in that. Uh, next up is Lone Ranger, which is a theme that I have the wrong, <clears throat> have the wrong menu brought up at all times. I think there's only like seven sets made. Where's Lone Ranger? Why am I not seeing it? Is it the Lone Ranger? Where, why, 
Why am I not seeing Lone Ranger? Oh, yes, yeah, because it's the eighth. Okay, there were eight Lone Ranger sets made. This is a movie I don't honestly know if I've ever actually fully seen the Lone Ranger. And it says I own the pump car, which I don't. Why? I, I don't understand myself. The amount of things I check that I own that I don't. So there were eight Lone Ranger sets made. A couple. I say I own these poly bags, which I don't. Two. It looks like two poly bags. And then one, two, three, four, five, six main sets, which is a train. Train, a mine shootout, the Colby City showdown, um, the stagecoach escape, the Comanche camp, and the cavalry building set. I didn't own any of these. But Lone Ranger is just a movie I kind of want to watch and then collect because it's a small theme and I kind of like this, like, western kind of feel i want to collect western sets as well so lone rangers one and then another like not odd movie but a movie maybe not everyone is a big fan of but prince of persia which maybe this is the one where they only own there's only like seven sets six see i'm all i'm guessing seven one theme is six and one is eight um this is one i think i own two sets of which was this desert attack and then the ostrich race which let me just show you a picture. This was like one of my favorite sets as a kid simply because it had ostrich it had two ostriches in it. It's just such a stupid little simple set. But I just really like it overall. And they're not too crazy expensive online, like used and new and stuff. So you kinda kinda have to look at how many sets are there in the theme. Is it gonna cost a whole bunch per set? <clears throat> Legends of Chima and Star Wars is one of those which is gonna cost you probably a lot each set. And then there's so many themes that start with P here. Um, Pharaoh's Quest is another one that I owned as a child, and I do want to collect, again, nine sets made. I think a couple of these are polybags, maybe. No, maybe there's all sets. Scarab, Golden Staff, Flying Mummy, Curse, Cobra Statue, Rise of the Sphinx, Scorpion Pyramid, <clears throat> one, two, <coughs> two polybags and, like, a <clears throat> mummy battle pack. That's so funny. And then a couple main sets. Another theme, not too expensive to collect again if you had at one point. And then to go along with the times of what's been happening in the world, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, another theme, this is kind of falls into the line with Legends of Chima and Star Wars where good luck getting them cheap. Um, especially the sets from the movie The Curse of the Black Pearl, uh, which came out in 2011. I think that's the latest movie they did. Possibly, I might be wrong. Um, the mill, I remember that scene. He was running on the the big wheel from the mill. These are just, Black Pearl, oh boy, wow. Black Pearl's another one that if I ever want to own, it's you're going to have to like drug me to get me to spend this money. Used is $445 and new is $875 for the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um... Some of these smaller sets, though, like Captain's Cabin, is like almost like a little mini pop or battle pack kind of thing. Forty dollars new, and it's only ninety five pieces. Fountain of the Youth. Uh, how many pieces is this? One hundred and twenty eight pieces. One hundred and seven dollars. Like this is another one where it's it's expensive. Uh, the London Escapes not too bad. Almost five hundred pieces. One hundred and some dollars. White Cap Bay. 200 for about a thousand pieces queen and revenge probably another big one yeah boats are expensive 340 dollars used and 700 or almost 800 new even the black pearl poly bag is like 25 dollars but there's some poly bags in here i don't know why but i think i what was this from Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, this just it's just a Captain Jack Sparrow polybag, just his minifigure. I thought I owned that at one point. There's two, there's two polybags, which is just his minifigure. One I know is if you pre-order the video game, and then this other one I given away free with a Donald Duck comic. What? Why was it given away with a Donald Duck? What does Donald Duck and Pirates of the Caribbean have in common? I don't know. Silent Mary, this set, oh, <clears throat> actually the newest movie was Dead Men Tell No Tales. Silent Mary just came out uh, five years ago. 
it's not that much more online. I mean, it sold for 200 when it came out. It's 318 online, so not too bad. And then some battle packs and stuff. That's just another theme that I'd like to collect. I don't have it on my list because I couldn't really find it as one solid theme in <clears throat> in um brick set, but like pirates and like Vikings and all these older themes. I really <sighs> sorry I should not be yawning. I'm got enough sleep. Um, but all these like older themes I'd really like to collect. So. <clears throat> Like I said, Pirates is another big one. I don't think I put it on here. Obviously, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates was another theme I owned as a kid. Owned? Yeah. What? What is going on with me today? Owned as a kid. Um, goodness gracious, why am I yawning so much? But Pirates, I'm probably just boring myself at this point. The newer Pirates theme from like 2011 or 2010. Let me see Pirates. Oops, I accidentally clicked on it. <laughs> These sets came out... These are all, like, the old system ones, there's a lot of pirates. Those are the newer ones that I have. There we go. To 2008, wow. <clears throat> Maybe I was collecting Lego before 2000. Oh, no, they stayed on the shelves until 2010, so. Like, the cannon battle, the kraken attacking. I think I own a couple more. Um, Loot Island, Soldier Fort. Says I own Brickbeard's Bounty, which is the big ship, which I don't, which I wish I would have because it's four hundred dollars online now. But all these old system sets, I kind of would want to collect of the pirates. I think they're really cool, like Volcano Island. This one's they're just really old themes, but I think they're really cool and something that I'd want to collect. Obviously, very pricey because it's old Lego systems, but I tried wearing different shirt this time. I was looking at all my videos and I was like, what shirt have I not worn? I couldn't see this one in any one, but I might have. <clears throat> it's a Chicago Cubs shirt like the old logo. I know I'm from Wisconsin and I'm repping Cubs. That's because of my grandpa. My grandpa listened and watched baseball before um, the state of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. The Brewers had a team. So next closest was Chicago. And I know plenty of people that my grandpa's age that were the same way that they loved baseball. But Wisconsin didn't have a team, so they cheered for Chicago, which was the next closest. I don't know if the Twins had a team at that point in Minnesota. They were probably farther out as long with along with the Detroit Tigers, but um, that's why I'm always wearing Chicago. If you see me with Warriors stuff on, that's because I'm a huge Steph Curry fan. I'm not really a Warriors fan. I follow Steph. I followed him when he was in college at Davidson. I don't care for the Warriors, I guess. I mean, I care for them because he's on the team and I want him to succeed, but if Steph leaves the Warriors, I go follow him and I'll get a shirt or jersey for whatever team he's on. Um, but otherwise, I'm Badgers, Bucks, Packers all the way. Um, I watch the Warriors because of Steph, and I watch the Cubs because of my grandpa. I will always rip the Cubs. I don't care how much crap I get. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of just a random fact about you can't even really fully see the shirt. But it's, it's a very old logo, and it's a, it's a really nice – oh, boy. I always bump this bat wing, and I need to, like, move my table or my chair over. I'm going to keep hitting it, or the bat wing is going to take a tumble. And that tumbler – tumble, tumbler. Funny. That tumbler was a pain. There was a lot of different parts on it that I was screwing up. Specifically, the back tires were like a huge pain to get on. Because if you don't turn the pins correctly to push them in so the wheels can go on them, they won't go in. They'll just keep getting stuck and you have to like hold it and turn it and it's just a big pain. And the seats on the inside, when I was putting panels on the outside, I kept bumping and breaking them off. But regardless, this is my um, kind of short video. It went on for 20 some minutes about themes I want to collect, themes I did collect, and themes that... Um, maybe I got rid of and I need, I don't know. I had three things. My brain's already gone. I forgot. <clears throat> themes I had and I got rid of that I want to collect again. Themes that I never collected that I want to now. And then themes that I currently collect, which is mostly just Star Wars. And collectible minifigures, creator expert, the cars, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you did enjoy. I have a couple things I want to try doing. Um on brick set and brick link specifically to try to um get older sets that i don't have in a new unique way which i kind of made a video on but i'll do in a new video coming up so yeah thank you guys so much for watching my next video will probably be for may 4th <clears throat> get all the new sets that came out i know they came out like yesterday or today's the 28th it came out two days ago i know they're selling at like my kohl's and walmart and stuff but i want to wait till may the 4th maybe i'll sucker up and go to kohl's i don't know but yeah 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. I love um, talking to a couple of you guys. I know not everyone reacts to my videos. I know I think I have like 72 subscribers now. Thank you for the 72 that are subscribed to me. I know my content's probably not that crazy or amazing. I don't have the longest view time and all that. But I do appreciate the ones that watch my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.